I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the most frugal and brilliant marketing strategy for your real estate business using a geo farm method. What's up everybody? Steve with Steve Invest helping real estate agents, brokers, as well as real estate investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. All right, so I'm going to keep this super simple. So if you have a, a geo farm that you're working right now, don't give up on it. I know these things are very costly and I'm going to show you a simple way on how to reduce and or eliminate the cost for you to continually reach people in your geo area. $300. Now let's say every piece is a dollar. So that's going to be $300 per month. So we got 300 times a dollar equals 300. Now I know for a fact you're going to be able to get every single piece, every marketing piece under a dollar. If you don't know how, talk to a wholesale printer. They can even get it uh, sent out on your behalf without you really having to do anything besides creating the actual flyer design. Um, if you do need any kind of help with flyer design, you can always go to, uh, I got a link down, it's an affiliate link for Fiverr. They can create flyers for you pretty cheaply as well. But uh, anyway, let's talk about $300 a dollar a piece, that's $300 a month. So if this is your farm area, that's where you're gonna anticipate paying every single month. It can be very costly. I mean, over a 12 month period, you're talking $3,600 per year so in that farm area i mean you got to get at least one sale depending on the price of the homes in that area you got to get at least one sale just to cover that nut but what i want you guys to do is be stressless so our nut on this is 300 dollars a month so picture this we got an eight and a half by 11 sheet all right on the front of it is you and the market stats or whatever is going to go out that that month um, regarding active pending solds in the community or information about you or whatever is going to go out that month is on the front of this eight and a half by 11 high gloss very nice high quality uh, flyer design now on the back and you're probably going to want to put something in here saying you know make sure you flip over for um, other local businesses that we support so you put a little asterisk with a little arrow flip it over they flip that page over and they're gonna see one two three they're gonna see three businesses i think you guys can see where i'm going with this so each one of these businesses is gonna pay a hundred dollars a hundred dollars a month that's gonna be three hundred dollars a month which ultimately is a wash and you are marketing for free and thinking about it, it's a low cost opportunity for these local businesses to market on your newsletter because at the end of the day they're only paying about 33 cents uh, per mailer that's going to go out to market their businesses okay now how do we find these companies who are they think about it for a second you you know i highly recommend that you're doing a farm area in the area that you live in so you probably already know some small business owners that could benefit from riding your coattails on this so who's out there i mean are there local restaurants that would maybe want to put a, a nice coupon here is there a dentist's office that might offer some sort of uh first time cleaning of your teeth um is there a local car wash that somebody could benefit from a coupon there's so many businesses that are out there that you're just not necessarily thinking about but what i want you to do right now you know pause this if you need to is just you know within 20 seconds just off the top of your head pause this write down any and all businesses in your local area that might benefit from this and i'm going to show you a personal example that we're using right now that we're doing over on uh, bonita beach all right, so over on Bonita Beach, this is a new farm market that we're going to be hitting. We're going to be doing about a thousand doors. And we're actually going to be doing a, uh, a postcard for this. We might change it up and do some flyer designs or whatever. But in this uh, right now, and I'll show you, I'll put a clip up for the actual flyer design so you can see um, one of these that just went out. So we're using a wholesale printer. They take care of everything. Um, all we have to do is provide the actual postcard design. They take care of everything from printing to postage to getting them out. So we don't touch any of the mailers at all. Um, in doing so, it's a good size, oversized postcard. Um, it runs a 76 cents per. So if we do the math, that's $760 per month sounds like a big nut now we do have one 
that's paying three hundred dollars it's actually a vacation rental company um, and their goal is to acquire more vacation rentals for their portfolio and uh, they pay about three hundred dollars a month it's advantageous for them because it's 30 cents going out right now so we're on a search for so that leaves us right now 460 which basically cut it in half just having one contributor one business owner uh, contributing to this campaign so we have a nut of 460 dollars my goal is to you know cut that again with uh, somebody else right now we're in talks with an insurance company as well but if we get this insurance company which i'm sure we're gonna they're gonna be paying 30 cents per mailer 300 dollars a month that's gonna leave us with a nut of 160 now for us to hit a, a thousand doors that's going to be 16 cents a door not bad for uh, a continual marketing plan to hit about a thousand doors and if i want to get um you know we're even talking to a uh, a cleaning company as well and you know we can do a smaller piece a, a smaller uh, block on our postcard for the cleaning company and maybe not charge them 300 but maybe charge them a hundred and if they're on that as well, then that's gonna bring us down to $60 per month. Another thing that's really cool is uh, it's scalable. So once you have this machine in place and it's working, then really you can start replicating this in different areas, different markets, different neighborhoods, different communities. So obviously this has to be a win-win. So you wanna select businesses that are gonna benefit from this because at the end of the day, they you wanna see that they're getting a return on their investment as well. If they're not getting any inquiries or calls, on this mail campaign then you know they're they're gonna drop off so what are your responsibilities associated with this the flyer design proofing the flyer sending it out to the business owners make sure that they approve of their design as well ensure that everything is on time you want these things to be going out at the same day every single month so if your deadline is to make sure that these things are out by the fifth of every month you got to make sure that all parties are working together to make sure it's getting out on time you want to allocate a page on your business website on your real estate website for everybody that's marketing on your campaign so it's kind of a, another way that they're going to get some additional exposure uh, another thing that you're going to want to do to help sell this as well is um, you know there's gonna be times where in your geo area and we have another clip coming up as well where we're going to talk about um, you know 10 tips on uh, growing your farm area but you're gonna want to get out there and hit some doors especially if you have uh, just listed just sold or uh, open house so you're gonna want to have that tangible material when you're knocking on doors and what you want to promise to the guys that are marketing on your flyer or on your postcard is every time that you're gonna be going out and knocking and hand delivering a tangible flyer, they're gonna be on that as well at no additional cost to them. And uh, that's just gonna help you with the sale. And you can probably do some sort of guarantee that at least every quarter, there's gonna be something going out hand delivered uh, with, their, with their content, with their, um, with their marketing material on your, on your flyer. All right, now for the business owners that are gonna be contributing to the mail campaign, they have some responsibilities as well. I highly recommend that you get them to commit to at least one year, 12 months. Uh, last thing you wanna do is have them test run it because remember, a farm, the, the analogy for the farm is you're planting the seeds and it grows over time. So if some of these small business owners um, sees the, the mailer go out one month, two months, and they don't get anything from it, then, um, then the likeliness of them dropping out is pretty high. Um, you know, these farm campaigns, they do take time to really grow and, and generate business. So they have to understand this is a long-term play. So you want at least a 12 month commitment from them. Um, also, if they do have a website, you wanna see if you can get your information, your business on their website on a page as well. If they do have a local brick and mortar office, then you wanna see if you can get your business cards in their office or even some certain flyers and so forth. And also, if you do have a local office, you wanna reciprocate that as well. All right, so I'm all about taking action. I, I'm not one to just watch something or read something and then sit back and not do anything. So I want you guys to take action and here's exactly what you can do step by step 
to throw this thing into play and get things rolling as quickly as possible, get these mailers out and start generating more business at no cost to you. This should only take about 10 to 15 hours of your time for something that is going to grow into something massive. So think about it, it's such a, a short amount of time that you really put a lot of energy and effort into right now, current day, even today, even right now you can set this up within the next 10 to 15 hours. Allocate this over the next two to three days and you'll have things in motion. All right, the first thing is you actually want to create the flyer. So as mentioned, you're going to have the flyer design, your info here, and then three companies. One, two, three. Okay. If you have any issues creating the flyer design or you're not creative, again, I'll put a link below for Fiverr. Click on there. You can probably get this done fairly cheap. Now, what you want to do is the three businesses, you actually want to put actual businesses in there. Now, if you have certain people in mind, certain businesses that you know the people, then actually put their logo and whatever info about that company maybe it's a coupon or something like that but actually put their information their logo so they can actually see what it would look like with their own information their own logo their own design on there all right now if you don't have any relationships with any business owners that is fine we still want to put businesses actual businesses in here so i recommend putting some sort of restaurant uh, maybe an insurance company, as mentioned, put logos or whatever the case is, um, and maybe even a dentist's office or doctor's office. Um, you know, the, just just look around your area, drive around. You know, I don't know your market, only you know your market. So if you're having trouble with ideas, just drive around for 20 minutes, and you're going to start writing down different ideas. Anyway, take pause this. Take a second. If you have any ideas off the top of your head, pause this write as many down as possible and then click play. All right, now once we have the flyer design all set up, whether you did it or Fiverr did it, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna search for a wholesale printer. Uh, there's some online as well. You can find them, just Google wholesale printer, or you might be able to find somebody in your local market. Uh, a lot of times the ones in the local market will actually handle the postage and getting everything out for you. But uh, find a, a wholesale printer so you can get the best prices possible for this flyer printed and get 50 of them printed, okay? Make sure that they're high gloss, high quality paper um, and get them all printed out. All right, now once these are printed out and at the end of the day, don't let this slow you down. Even if you need to get samples printed um, and you have to pay a little bit extra at a, a Office Depot or something Just make sure the quality is really good and just get them printed I know Office Depot the turnaround time is like an hour if you want them done that quickly So just go ahead and do it take action get 50 of them printed and now next I want you to go to all those places that you wrote down and call these people see if you can either set an appointment or actually go into their uh, places their, their businesses, their establishments, and meet with these people face to face and ask for 10 minutes of their time. Once you're face to face with these people, you're gonna show them the flyer, show them what you're talking about, show them the cost, show them maybe uh, print a map of the area that you're gonna be concentrating on, whether, whether it's a specific community or neighborhood. You wanna present this as it's an opportunity for them and it's an opportunity that if they don't take it, somebody else will and you only have three spots. Um, once you do sell one spot as well, I highly recommend getting a black marker and uh, let's say you sold this spot, you know, when you show up, bring the marker in hand and actually cross it off and say, um, this spot's already taken, but you know, I do have two more spots open and um, I have a couple other interested parties, but I want to reach out to you first. I think you can benefit greatly from marketing with me. And then you're going to explain to them the costs associated with the benefits, them being on your website, them being on additional promotional marketing material, uh, them being invited to networking events that you have. Um, they could even sponsor uh, certain uh, office meetings that you have as well if you do have a brick and mortar and you have other real estate agents in the area. So there's a lot of benefits that you want to uh, sell to them. Look guys, you are real estate agents. You're in sales. If you didn't know that and you don't want to be in sales and maybe this is not the right business for you, but you are in real estate sales. So your job is to sell. This is no different. Sales is sales at the end of the day. So you want to tell them the benefits associated with marketing on your campaign and then ask them simple closing questions like, is there any interest in marketing with us and taking advantage of this opportunity? And then just stay silent. See what they say. If they are not interested at all, 
move on. There's plenty other businesses out there and don't take that as a rejection to heart. It is what it is. Some people won't have money in their budget. Some people just maybe won't have any interest at all. That's fine. But there's plenty other people that you can help out with this campaign. Hey, I hope I got your wheels turning. And if you got any value out of this, you're probably gonna to wanna to check out the next video. We're gonna be talking about how to effectively grow your real estate farm area. So check it out and I'll see you over there and I appreciate the support. See ya.